everybody. Welcome back to This Week at MBE. It is Saturday afternoon at MBE. Come on in. We'll go. We, got a, we had a big nine that, um, that we were filming right there that came off the machine. So we had a couple sets that we finished this week. All the CNC work is done. Now we'll go for honing the guides, valve job, CC and deck, assembly, things of that nature. We got a set of the, the CID LS7 castings that we use. This is a new head we've come out with. It's a great little cylinder head. And certainly a lot of bang for the buck. It's uh, a much more um, affordable, I guess, for some. Uh, but you can see we get these we get these raw from John. So we put all the spring pockets in, all the valve gear. Every, we, we put everything in here. And that's just because just we want to police it. Nothing, nothing against his machine work by any means. Unfortunately, he lets us use his casting, so. But it's a heavier casting than a typical GM LS7, things like that. You know, it's not going to be a hundred thousand thick everywhere. So this can be used for street or race, either. You got a head that flows 430 CFM, which is more than most cup heads flow. So that's a pretty badass cylinder head for the street. And these are oval ports that we do. It's not a huge port, um, so it'll work good in the street or race. Uh, this this would look work very good for even um, endurance applications, road racing, things of that nature. That'd be a great little head for it. And then uh, of course the big nines right there. And uh, we got more. We have more castings come in. This is some more of the LS7 castings. So we had a bunch of them, a bunch of them come in. So those are in process. Um, I believe that's just going to be a very popular head. And then uh, we had. A pallet of big nines come in and a pallet of the 18 degree conventional heads that we do the max pulls in with the 2500 valve. So that won't be the hold up by any means. So we'll be able to get all that finished in a decent amount of time. And then we'll come in here. We got we got a set of billet small block Chevy heads right here. This is for a blown, um, I think it's a tractor pull runs a small block so this is a pretty cool deal so we're looking forward to this just watching it run I think it'll be pretty awesome so it's a billet head and then we got these look like billet heads but this is just a lightning package and everything that we do on the CID heads takes off about seven pounds per head you can see all the extra machine that is done to it so it, it comes back looking similar to a billet head we have two two different lightning programs for this we have one for the super late model guys where we where we where we we do more machining for them because they don't require the extra bolt holes if they don't want them, the eight extras. And uh, but this is a CID 12 degree set right there. And then uh, see here, they've got another set right here. So these have to go back on the machine. The customer called. He wants O-ringed intake and exhaust flanges. And we're doing a valley tray for it now, so we'll machine the holes for the valley tray, so we can mount brackets like this on it and then put our machine plate on top of here. And you can see we all we use all stainless fasteners, so everything is nice. I mean, just the way it should be, that's all. And then uh, we'll come in here, we got, say there was probably eight to ten packages that got assembled this week so that was a very good week um, Dave did an excellent job getting all of that finished and tidying everything up with that um, we have a billet small block manifold here with the valley tray intake gaskets so we have the intake gaskets so they, they, they fit the bowls and the ports perfectly um, we got Mr. John Perry's got a, a set of 10 degree wedge heads for his NA for his NA deal that he's doing. Um, uh, John's been a John's been a great customer of ours for years. And then we have another. This is a set of 13s right here. And this is just an update here. Oh no, this is an 18 degree head that we did for an Australian deal. So those are all, so they sent, they actually sent them back here for us to service them from Australia. We put them back on the Epoch. Um, I think it's cool that the engine builder felt, uh, felt value in that for sure. Um, so those are brand new, ready to go again, or ready to rebuild. 
couple more of the manifolds, bill of manifolds. We got the small block here with the valley tray finish. We got the big nine here. We got all the valley tray stuff here for the Ford. Oh no, it's a Chevy for the Chevy. And then we'll come back here and you can, we'll be able to see all the work that did get finished this week that's in shipping ready to be shipped. So we are absolutely filled up. So there is all of this is being shipped. All of this right here is being shipped. And as Biggs is showing you around the corner, all of that is being shipped. And all of this is being shipped. So the guys did an incredible job getting everything finished. Um, so yeah, so it was a good week. Got a lot done. The guys kicked ass. And uh, very busy though. Um, but thank you for joining us. And uh, that's this week at MBE.